Okay, so now it's time to start doing interactivity, and what this requires is some minimal amounts of uh, scripting. And for those of you that are not familiar with scripting, a lot of this will be archaic to you and somewhat scary. What I highly recommend you do is you um, download the accompanying FLA file and uh, basically uh, copy and paste the code until it makes sense. Uh, a lot of scripting on the web is basically hacking other people's code. And in this case, that might be what you, uh, be what you have to do. Regardless, I'll try to explain what we're doing. So what we can do now is we've created two buttons. Um, one that's going to be for roads and one that's going to be for buildings, we can actually um, lock this layer and we're going to create a new layer. And generally, uh, the layer we're about to create, no matter what Flash project you're working in, you want it to be the top layer. And we're going to call it um, an action script layer. You can also, it's often called just an AS layer, so whatever you want to call it. But action script is the scripting language that Flash uses, and you can write it right within Flash and it'll manipulate the objects you've drawn or imported as long as they have instance names. So let's hit return. And you can actually lock this layer because no matter what, you never really want to draw any objects in this layer. I don't even think you're you can, but maybe you can, but you're not supposed to. Um, so this is just going to be a layer where we put our script. Now, how do we write script in Flash? It's pretty easy. We go up to Window, and there's a panel called Actions. So, uh, the Actions panel looks like this. What I'm going to do actually is try to embed it here. So I am just clicked and dragged it so it's up here. Um, and we can start to minimize other parts of the stage. But basically, it's just a text editor. Now, what we're going to do is what we need to do is we need to actually, uh, we need to Identify these buttons and say, when a mouse clicks on them, remove labels. That's all we're going to do here. And um, basically what I'm about to show you will work for anything you want to have react, anything you draw, any button or anything, movie clip as well. Um, if you wanted to do something when someone mouses over it or clicks on it, what I'm about to write is the code you're going to write every time. So the first thing you always want to do is action script is an object-oriented language, which means you create objects like instance names and buttons with instance names and movie clips with instance names and once they have a name they can be identified so you always start with the object's name and then you say what should happen to that object so in this case we have a couple different buttons now I forget their names offhand luckily up here is a little target symbol if we click on this we'll see the names of all our different movies and movie clips and buttons have this little icon that looks like a person pressing a button. So one of our buttons is called building button and one of them is called title button. And what you can do is you can just close this out and hit cancel and write that there or you can erase the, this period in front of the name and hit OK and it'll put it right there for you. So title button and in action script, a period in the code actually kind of represents a space. So, uh, you know, basically it means next object, next thing. So after you write anything, you always want to write a period, title button, and then this is one of the most important uh, pieces of code you'll ever learn in Flash, um, it's, and it's pretty simple, add event listener. And notice how it turns blue. It turns blue because it's actually uh, a direct order that's built into Flash. What an event listener is, is basically we're saying on the title button, the button that we named title button, what we want you to do with uh, Flash is put something that listens for some listens for interactivity, an event you can think of as interactivity. So we're basically setting up a queue like be on guard for something happening to title button. So object, what we're doing to the object, and then um, this is some weird nomenclature, but once you get it down, it's, it's pretty straightforward. What type, what we're going to do is write parentheses, and then we have to know what type of interaction or event is the flash supposed to be listening for. Well, in this case, it's a mouse event. And then um, we'll hit period again. What type of mouse event? Well, it's actually going to be, let's see, uh, sometimes it gives us code hints, it's not giving them to us today. What type of mouse event? Well, um, there are a couple. There are 
clicks, there are, um, there are uh, mouse over, there's mouse up, there's letting go of the mouse button, etc. So if we want to figure out what types of mouse events there are, we can go over here on the left and we can go to um, I think it's going to be under flash events. I could be wrong, I normally am. Nope, it's not there. Well, all of the different codes you can use are over here. How about flash events? Mouse event. So if we click in here, we can see methods um, and properties. Click is one. Double click, so when someone doubles click, so you get to decide now. Do we want someone to have to double click? Um, click, middle mouse button down. Mouse down means when they actually press the mouse down. Um, mouse over means when someone moves the mouse over. Let's do a mouse over. Notice that the, these um, event names are all capitalized, so you always want to, um, it is case sensitive, so let's hit mouse, or spell it out, mouse over, and you're going to type a comma, and you're going to come up with um, a method, or, or something that should happen when someone mouses over the title button. And we're not going to write it out here, but we have to give what happens a name. So we're going to call it hide um, title end parenthesis and semicolon. A semicolon is a, is a period in ActionScript. So a period is kind of like a space and a semicolon is, is a period. That means end of statement, end of our line here. All right, so what we have again is title button, which is this button here, add event listener, flash listen for something to happen, listen for a mouse event. When a mouse moves over this button, do this, hide the title. Now, of course, Flash doesn't know what hide title means from, you know, doesn't even know what a title is. It doesn't care. So what we have to do is create um, a function, or otherwise known as a method in some languages, that um, a hide title function that does something. And this is really easy. So functions do something. And so whenever you create a function, it's, it's uh, going to be a series of commands. And to create a function, all you have to do is type function, space, um, the name of the, what you want the function to be, and in this case, we want a function called hide title because we need this to happen. So hide title. And then some more parentheses. We have to say what this function is, and it is an event. It doesn't matter. You can write anything there. But if you write event, um, colon, mouse event. And again, this code will get easier. Um, once once you've done it a few hundred times, but uh, you can always just copy and paste and tweak it, you know, tweak it to your extent, uh, you know, you could always copy and paste this and then change the name of the function to be more suitable for your thing. Now, just like in JavaScript and CSS, you, you kind of have a, uh, um, a selector or a descriptor, a selector, and everything that this function does has to go into these mustache, or these curly braces, um, also known as mustaches. So you type one and hit enter a couple times and type the second one. And then in here is where we're going to write what's going to happen. And there are tons of commands, as you can see over here. You can make millions of things happen. But um, I'm going to teach you some of the basic ones. What we want are these labels to hide, right? These, 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 uh, or not the labels, sorry, the title of the map to hide. So again, in an object-oriented language, when you want something to happen to something else, you always start with the object name. Now, when we imported this map data, and you may not remember this, but the layer with the title in it, we created it as a movie clip, and we gave it an instance name. Let's go up here and see where it is. Let's click on this, and we gave it, a, here's a movie clip with an instance name called title. If something doesn't have an instance name, it'll show up like this, and you simply can't do much with it in ActionScript. You have to give it an instance name. So let's click on, double click on, or not double click, but um, you always want to get rid of this babble at the start of it um, and just title. That's the name of our instance. And unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to work well because um, title, whenever text is in blue, that means it's reserved by flash, but we'll see. Title visible equals false. 
semicolon. Semicolon being int. Okay, so we've just created a function called hide title. It's, it occurs on an event, a mouse event, and this is what happens. The movie clip title stops being uh, visible, turns to false. So basically, if it is visible, it turns off. Now, I don't think this is going to work because Flash is very particular about people using their uh, reserved language. But let's see. Hit Control Enter, or you don't have to. I will. We'll see if something blows up. And look at that. The title disappeared when I rolled the mouse over. Just like that. Now, here's a problem. What if I didn't see the title and I want the title back? Tough luck! <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, we can easily create an if-else statement that will bring it back. Or we can actually create a different function. So I'm going to close this out. And you can have as many event listeners on a single button as you want. So in this case, this is an easy fix. Let's do title button add event listener mouse event click show title. All right, so now what do we have to do? I want you to think about this. Different event listener, this is a different action. Show title, what do we have to do? If you said create a new function called show title, you're right. Function show title. It's a, you just write this because it's a function that occurs with a mouse event, so it makes Flash very happy. Curly braces, title, visible, equals, what do you think? True or false? True. Um, whoops, I hit save instead of, all right. Control, return, command, return, enter. Title disappears. When I click, it shows up. Roll over, it disappears. When I click, it shows up, etc. All right, you guys are turning into pros here. Um, one other thing you can do, which is probably makes more sense, is to write an if-else statement. And this is um, a little bit more complex, but for those of you that know a little JavaScript, etc., it should be straightforward. An if-else statement says, if this, do that, otherwise, do this. Um, you can write them simply like this. We're going to actually keep the, the click one. So I'm going to write if title visible equals equals false end parenthesis, curly brace, curly brace. So what we're saying is function show title, um, if, if when someone clicks on the, the button, the title is not visible, and remember that there are two several types of equal signs, um, the single equal sign makes something happen. It says this is now this. The double equal sign checks if something's true. So two double signs equals is the title visible? If the title uh, the title's visibility is currently false, whereas this one says title make it visible, make it true. Now, so we have this if statement, the um, parameter and the parentheses. We have curly braces that say what to do if this parameter is met. What we need now is an else statement. So if that parameter is not met, some more curly mustaches, title visible equals false. So if the title is currently not visible, make it true, uh, make it visible, otherwise make it invisible. Now what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this garbage. Um, and so now all we have are these clicker, clicker doodles, I like to call them. All right, let's hit control enter and see what happens. Click hidden, click back, click hidden, click back, click hidden. The rollover doesn't work anymore because I disabled it. And just like that, we have interactivity. So what I challenge you guys to do is to um, start programming, hit pause on this video and start programming the, um, to make the uh, building names invisible. So the first thing you're going to have to do, all right, hit pause. And if you can't figure it out, hit play again. I'm back. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we have to remember what we called this button. Um, and the building button is called building button. So that's pretty easy. Let's do this. And then we're
and we're going to add an event listener mouse event you will get faster at this and it will just call it uh, off on buildings then down here you can have as many functions and event listeners as you want again so we're going to call function off on buildings event mouse event if um, now what, what do we want to have visible or invisible I forget what we called our building labels layer so let's go here and they're called building labels that that movie clip so in this layer we have a bunch of text our instance name is called building labels alright easy enough so if building labels visible equals true building labels visible equals false now what's wrong with this I screwed up already and this is one of the most common mistakes so if something if you get a bunch of errors this is probably what it is it's a typo or a case sensitive issue or this is saying if building labels make them true that doesn't make sense if building labels make them visible true make them tr visible we have to say if they are which requires two equal signs all right else otherwise make them visible it's all there control return title still works buildings work awesome the next uh, tutorial will we'll, uh, maybe we'll make the thematic map thing disappear and we'll start talking about simple animations be sure to save your work so you don't lose your code so file one thing I didn't mention is file save as and let's call this flash doodle or whatever you want to call it but then you can always open this again in flash and copy the code which is very nice